um, I, I honestly, I, I don't know how much money we're going to make today. I, I literally cannot figure it out in my head. <laughs> um, I want to say something like close to 600,000. Ladies and gentlemen and proto, <laughs> what's going on? Welcome back to Stardew Valley, the penultimate episode of Fall of Year 2. How many plans for today? Smooch. <laughs> Um, I do have some plans for today. It should be harvest day. You know what that means. Weather report is going to be beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Fortune. Oh, spirits are very happy. Living off land. Just a couple of days until communities around the world. Or around the Ferngill Republic. Never mind. Celebrate uh, Spirits Eve. Yes, indeed. And I was right. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. We're going to get much, much money. It's going to be fantastic. Okay. I think what I want to do first, though, is sort out all of my animals, uh, because that's that's quite quick and easy to do. And I think if I've counted correctly, my ducks should have all grown up. I don't think the pigs would have done just yet, but the duckies should definitely be big and strong now. Oh yes, look at all the duck eggs. So, turning these into mayonnaise is definitely going to be how we get the majority of our, our money from, from the coop now. Um, we will occasionally get some, some wool, uh, like I say, right there we got some rabbit, uh, like we got a rabbit's foot, which I could leave as a gift, but I don't really have the, the use of it, like, what's the point of that when I've already maxed out everyone's friendship, look at it, go, oh, it's beautiful, except for Proto, <laughs> I didn't realize, wait, do I have to give my child a gift, I hope not, okay, let's quickly say hello to all the animals, who are now all back home, which is fantastic. Did I pet the other pig? I think I did. Fantastic. And you know what? I'm just going to let them out. Um, we've got some milking and shearing to do, which is fine by me. Okay, so let's try and grab them as they come out. Uh, where is Sophie? Sophie the sheep. Look at them all going in a line to try and get the... Oh, there she is. To try and get the... Um, uh, to try and get the, 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 the grass. I want to milk you, Molly. There we go. Thank you. Get some small goat's milk. Should have plenty of hay now for them. Um, just for the the winter, of course, which is fast approaching. Don't forget, during the first couple of days of winter... I, I know. Uh, during the first couple of days of winter... I'm, I'm not... I'm trying to milk the cow, Diane. Uh, are you kidding me? I want to... Yes, you do produce milk. There we go. Yes, during the first few days of winter, uh, you can't buy hay from Marnie because it's Monday and Tuesday. She, she isn't open. Uh, so just just be careful of that. Don't get caught out. Be prepared. Definitely be prepared. Oh, don't want to drink it. I want to put it in. There we go. Let's get these lovely duck eggs in. Um, oh, <laughs> and then we just got like the void egg and normal egg. I may as well just like stop... Uh, doing anything with the, the other two chickens because we've got enough mayonnaise machines now to make duck mayonnaise that's what I really care about all right before we harvest things today we of course are going to make our farmers lunch um, we need an omelet and uh, do I already have an omelet I don't know and there we have it farmers lunch gives us plus three in farming artificially raising our farming skill to level 13 I think that's how it works I'm not sure I think there's like, oh my goodness, <laughs> okay, no, we're getting loads of gold, oh yes, that is exactly what I was hoping for, um, yeah, I think that's how it works, but I'm not entirely sure, um, there's like some, some different arguments for and against, um, temporarily increasing skills beyond level 10, uh, but I, I, I would like to think it's true, because it's really noticeable with, uh, with fishing. Also, this guy hasn't grown. I wonder why. Um, it's really notable, noticeable with fishing, because if you're level 10 fishing, um, every time the level goes up with your fishing skill, the bar increases, like in size. And if you're level 10 and you use a skill or a, a food item to go beyond that, then the bar gets bigger. So my argument for uh, would be for um, increasing it. Look at that with the sweet gem berries. We only got one normal quality one. 7 silver and 27 gold. Holy smokes. So, if I remember rightly, these are worth 3,000 and these are worth 4,500. That's a lot of money. Let's sell it all. Oh, baby. 
Um, we've got three days until the season starts anew. So, oh, I, I should check the um, the greenhouse here. Um, so I don't think there's anything we can plant. Oh, hello. If I get... Okay, I'm going to do it. I wasn't going to, but then I remembered I've got my farming plus three skill at the moment and a lot of luck, so <laughs> I'm doing it. Oh, we don't have high quality fertilizer, though. You can see really how much difference the high quality fertilizer made. Jeez. Like, considering I got all of those gold sweet gem berries and, like, here the majority of them are silver and then normal quality and gold quality are tied. That's nuts. Okay, so once these ones at the back here have grown uh, and have got berries on them, that's when I'm going to wait and wait for them all to sync up, I think. Uh, the normal quality ones, I'm finally going to throw back into the preserve jars because we need to preserve some something. Uh, so let's do... Oh, yeah, I'm doing the normal ones. Yeah, thank goodness. If I was doing the gold ones, I'd be mad. All right, let's go for that. And that gives us six, which isn't quite enough to do again, but oh well. Um... Yeah, I don't think there's enough time to grow anything in the rest of the season. Uh, but I will check, because if we can, then that would be awesome. Uh, do I also want to go to the desert? I don't think so. Um, not today. <laughs> I'm really hoping that during the winter we can get a lot, and I mean a lot, of artifacts. That would be fantastic. Help wanted? No, that's a calendar. Oh, invasive crab species. I don't think I can get them, but I'll give it a go. All right, Pierre, let's see. Anything that takes three days? Well, no, it'd have to be two days, wouldn't it? Bok Choy takes four. Nah, there's not going to be anything. Nope. Oh, well. Sucks to be Pierre. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't. It sucks to be me. That's the last time any of that or that little plot of land is going to be um, hoed. Um, so what do I want to do for the rest of the day? I guess I could look for the invasive crab species. Oh, no, what we need to do is we need to prepare the kegs because it's Thursday, and on Thursday is the day when the kegs spit out uh, starfruit wine. And obviously that's going to give us quite a big chunk of money. Are they ready yet, actually? Not yet. Um, yeah, that's going to give us a big chunk of money, but I did try and figure it out, and I started off this season with... Um, I started off the season with 800,000 gold, and we've only gone up to 1.5 million. I don't think we're going to get the 10 million that I wanted um, before the end of the season, or before the end of the series, which is a little bit disappointing. Not going to lie. Um, okay, so I need more wood. That's fine. I can go get more wood. Um, yeah, because obviously there's the gold clock I want to get. As oh, hello. <laughs> Look at that for timing. Yeah, there's a gold clock I want to get as well as the uh, return scepter. Now, the return scepter, I'm probably going to be able to get after today, like in this episode. That would be fantastic. Um, but the gold clock is probably not going to happen unless I sell so much starfruit wine that it comes out of my ears. But I've almost run out of starfruit, so I don't think I can. Okay, so I've got about like 90 wood to collect, so I'm going to do that real quick. And then I'll meet you guys back on the farm, providing I can actually find the wood I need. Because it looks like not a lot has grown back. Okay, here we go. First of all, duck mayonnaise. Fantastic. Seven of them. And the cheeses too. Also fantastic. Oh, all of that stuff. Root wine. Oh, and that's not the last of it either. Oh my goodness, can't get out there. Any truffles around? We've got one. Fair enough. Um, piggies aren't that happy at the moment, probably because... Oh, wait, no, I've got another one here. Can I? I've got two. I'll just turn them into oil. Uh, okay, so, battle plan. First of all, collect all star fruit wine. Get all of it. It's going to be worth lots of money. I forget how much, but today we're going to... I. You know what will be awesome? Oh, so there's that one cranberry there. There's, there's something wrong with the game. Like, sometimes the crops fall out of sync, which is a bit bizarre, but at least I didn't miss out on a harvest. Um, I don't even know if we've got enough silver star fruit to actually fill up all of our kegs now because we've got so many kegs. And obviously, once the star fruit have gone, we're going to switch to ancient fruit wine, which isn't as profitable. But hey, if we don't have the star fruit, we can't do anything about it. The only thing that's, I guess, maybe the, the ancient fruit are profitable because you don't have to replant them, uh, whereas the star fruit you do. I guess that's that's. There's going to be a, a point when the ancient fruit become more profitable than the star fruit because. Obviously, the star fruit you have to um, you have to replant them and then wait for them to grow. Whereas the ancient fruit, you only grow them once and then they re uh, like 
uh, they just carry on producing uh, the ancient fruit, which you can then turn into wine. So I don't know which one's more profitable. Who knows? Oh, I've run out of silver quality star fruit. So it looks like we got maybe one more harvest of star fruit before we run out. Uh, but we do have more kegs. Oh yes, let's fill them up. Looks like it's going to be pretty much the same. Oops, don't want that one there. Um, my goodness, we got 50. 54. <laughs> um, 54 star fruit wine here, which are worth like 3,000 each, aren't they? That's crazy. Um, and then I guess put one there and one there. Awesome. Fill these up with star fruit as well. Oh man, so much money. It's going to be great. Um, I, I honestly, I, I don't know how much money we're going to make today. I, I literally cannot figure it out in my head. <laughs> um, I want to say something like close to 600,000. I really don't know. Okay, so let's put, let's put the star fruit in there. I'm going to say 600,000. Let's go for 600,000. That would be awesome. Because I would really love to get the return scepter tomorrow. It would be great. Right, so all those. Lovely jubbly. And for the rest of the day, let's try and find the invasive crab species. How many of them have we got to kill? Four. Four lava crabs. Oh, so we've got to go into the deep section of the mine. Okay, uh, I can do that. Not very well, but... Oh, tomorrow, Friday, must remember to get the... Um, the honey from Sandy. Mustn't forget that. Alright, crab rock, come at me, bro. Hello, prismatic shard. How about that? Yet another day where I'm not overly fond of the results. I actually... Well, okay, so I went to kill crabs, right? <laughs> um, I only found one. But I did find a huge floor full of dirt, which was floor 93. And I, I got so many artifacts from it. I um, also got that prismatic shard from one of the enemies, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I got quite a few... Actually, looking at it, I only got three artifacts. Never mind, I'm stupid. Okay, to add to the amount of money we're getting today, let's grab our fairy rose honey. And I should have enough time to sort everything out before the end of the day. Oh man, the reason why I can't wait to get the gold clock is I hate seeing my fences falling apart. It just looks so ugly. Oh well, that is going to be our last fairy rose honey of the season. Okay, so let's try and put everything away before bed. Um, obviously we got our bars and our geodes. Coal, clay. Um, oh, not the artifacts. I can sell those. Um, those go in there. Yep. Copper goes in there. Omni geodes, which I need to crack open. Bombs, magma, uh, mega bombs, not magma bombs. I'm going to actually sell the prismatic shard, believe it or not. I'm um, going to get lots of money for that, which is going to be great. Put away the cave carrots and the bat wings. Crab, I'm going to sell as well. All right. And. Uh, sell all of these. I don't much care for them. And call it quits for today. So 600,000 is what I thought. Let's take a look and see how much we get from our bumper harvest today. This is easily going to be the most money we will we'll probably ever get. Is that only 200,000? But then we got 400,000. Wait, 400,000 in total. Oh, from Sweet Gem Berries, of course. Okay, so yeah, I knew the maximum I could get from Sweet Gem Berries was going to be 180,000, the lowest was going to be 120. That's not too bad. We got one gold for the Dwarf Scrolls, lame. But we actually got way more money from selling this lot because of the Starfruit Wine. <laughs> wow, was 170. That, you see, that seems nuts for, for one, week's of, or one week's worth of work, converting all that Starfruit Wine was more money than spending 24 days waiting for sweet gem berries to grow, but still, 2,600 actually for a prismatic shard isn't too shabby. Um, I could have kept that for something, but I don't really have a use for it. <laughs> so I was like, I'll sell it. Okay, so I was way off the mark there. I thought we were going to get 600,000, which means, oh no, we don't have enough to get the return scepter. Oh shoot, I thought we were going to have enough. That kind of stinks. Or do we? No, we're 50,000 short. That is a shame. Hi, Haley. Have you spent any time with Proto today? No, I'll go do it. At least he's in his bedroom. He's not hanging out in the ceiling. Hey, Proto, buddy. How's it going? 
My name is Proto anyway. Sounds like a Mega Man <laughs> version. Still one heart. I don't think I'm ever going to get him up to maximum before the end of the Let's Play, but oh well. Oh, I forgot to check the, the weather and stuff, didn't I? Let's check the weather and stuff. Weather tomorrow is going to be fine because it's going to be a festival. And Fortune Teller says, Spirits are very displeased. Ooh, okay. Good job I did have a sneak peek there and there's no pumpkins to harvest. Uh, notice chilling the air. Oh, it could just be the approach winner or it could be the tingle of a dark spectre. Yes, indeedy. All right. So, oh, look at all of the land there that's unhoed now. Speaking of unhoed, hello, you. Oh, did not give me what I wanted. Uh, let's take a look in the greenhouse, because I know for a fact that... Oh, we got even more? That's crazy. I know for a fact that once these ones back here, once they have the, the brown orbs on them, like this, then they will have the brown, the brown berries, so like the unripe berries, for four days, and then on the fifth day they will turn into um, these berries, or uh, the, well, the actual harvestable crops. But good to know that they will soon be all synced up, which is going to be great. Oh look, there's one there. Yoink, got ya. Alright, more ancient fruit is good. Sweet. Alright, that's 20 we can throw in our chest to turn into uh, jelly, and then the rest we shall sell. But, of course, Time to sort out the animals for today, see if they're behaving. Okay, so this is interesting. All the ducks produced duck eggs again, and all of the goats produced goat milk again. Um, I could have sworn that both of those were an every other day thing. Were they not? Am I completely wrong there? <laughs> um, oh, I should have probably focused on the, the, the bad duck eggs rather than the good ones, because we've actually got more duck eggs than we can turn into mayonnaise now, which is crazy. Oh, we need to put some of this, uh, ancient fruit away, don't we? So that we've got some for next time. Okay, let's pop them there. Very good, and we shall sell everything else and head to the desert, because we have stuff to do. Uh, well, I've got to buy some honey, basically. Uh, that bit of stone, I will keep on me. That is my gluck stuck stone. Uh, I don't think Pam would have left yet, would she? Doesn't she leave her trailer at like half nine? Oh, there she is. Hi. You know what, Pam? You're going too slow. I'm, I'm going to get in your way. And then you're going to go faster. <gasps> Gotta go faster, faster. Go on. Run. Run, Pam. Your country needs you. <laughs> and by country, I mean me. Does she walk through Yolanda? Oh, I don't know if she normally takes that route or not, but oh well. All right, let's go to the desert. Um, I don't know if it's... Oh, I'm stuck on Yolanda's butt this time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's so weird. Like, why was I facing the camera as well? Um, yeah, what was I saying? I don't know if it's worth digging up any artifacts since the spirits are very displeased. So I don't think... Oh, shall I do it anyway? I mean, I can't see any. I'm going to do it just in case. I mean, this is probably a terrible idea, but... You know, mix seeds. Yippee! All right, Sandy. I know I look parched, but give me some honey. Thank you very much. I needed that. Do I only need one? Because I would hate to come all this way and need more than one. Um, yes, I do only need one. Fantastic. We can now make the warp totem to the farm, which is great. That's one less thing we have to craft. Still looking to get marble. And obviously, having not, or having only found like three bits of marble before, it's uh, not looking good. It would suck if that's the last thing I need to create everything, but then uh, I highly doubt I'm going to get all of the artifacts before the end of the year as well. It all depends on how well my winter hunt goes, because there are so many more artifact spots during the winter. But we shall see. We shall see. Alright. Well, that's that little job done today, which is great. I remembered it. Oh, I could change the camera angle there. Yolanda has been wondering where you've been. Been here all along. Alright, so we need some hardwood and we need some fibre, don't we? So let's grab some hardwood and some fibre. And fingers crossed, bippity boppity boo. Warp totem to the farm. Fantastic. Um, so it's been a while since I've actually used any warp totem. Or totems. Um, so if, if you don't know, because it's been a while since I showed you, or if you just don't know in general, uh, they warp you to these little teleportation statues, like the warp totem to the farm takes you to here. So it's actually a really good way of getting back to the farm at the end of the day. Um, speaking of the end of the day, <laughs> I have no idea what to do. Uh, I'm going to crack open my geodes, I guess. Uh, take these over to Clint. Oh, wait, on a Friday, I think he's at the community center. Shoot. 
Oh, darn. I didn't think about that. Uh, I'll check anyway. But one of the other things I want to do is start collecting Iridium Sprinklers again uh, from Krobus. Because my plan for the next year, and like I keep saying, I'm not actually going to be showing you next year. I'm going to be showing you the results of next year, but not actually showing you the next year of gameplay. Um, my plan for the next year is to just go all out on farming rather than focusing on other stuff. Um, just because I, I kind of want to see how much money I can make. Yeah, he's not here. Darn. Okay, never mind. I don't know what to do for the rest of the day. I guess I could do the, the mining quest for the crabs. Um, I guess that would make sense, wouldn't it? Considering the spirits are in, like, very displeased, so I doubt there's going to be much we can do of it, much else. Um, alright then, I'll do that. Why not? I mean, I just couldn't find any, you know, they, they wanted nothing to do with me. I would like to harvest all these things, by the way, but I've got no pocket space, so not happening. Um, managed to find the mushroom floor, though, which is pretty cool. If I wanted to harvest mushrooms, I guess I could. Uh, I'm not really too into that, though, because I... The thing I would most like to do is, uh, I, I got one. No, I think I got two of the ones I needed, and I did a little bit of artifact searching. So, yeah, that's the thing I'd most like to do is search for artifacts, not mushrooms, but whatever. Okay, see what else we can throw away here. Do I try and get all those things? No, I'll just save them for tomorrow. i uh, get rid of that, why not? And those, uh, everything else can go in the random chest right here. The fiber, the sap, the slime, and the hardwood. And uh, that's going to be it. Very anticlimactic. Well, actually, no, it's not an anticlimactic uh, penultimate episode because we got lots of money yesterday. Yeah, 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 you're ready to have some fun. I know you are. Look at me, and I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> All right, there we have it. Not a very profitable day today. Don't think we're going to get... Actually, uh, no, because we need 50,000, didn't we? Uh, so we're close. We're very close to Return Scepter. It will probably happen tomorrow. Guys, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Stardew Valley. Hope you all enjoyed. And I, of course, will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.